For some time now, WJZ has been investigating a dirty secret, child sex abuse at the hands of priests, police, and a teacher back in the 60s and 70s. Many of you asked how it was possible that no one noticed. Tonight, multiple sources tell Denise Koch that many people, including some nuns in positions of authority, did know about the abuse, but instead of reporting it, looked the other way. It's a dark chapter for Baltimore's Catholic schools. Father Joseph Maskell, a counselor at Seton Keough High School, is accused of molesting dozens of students. WJZ's ongoing investigation also revealed abuse at the hands of other priests, police, and a Catholic school teacher. I had a gun held to my head on several occasions. I was threatened with, I'll kill your father, I'll kill your grandparents, I'll kill your dog. I'll kill you. The Linda tells WJZ back in the 70s, John Mersbacher sexually abused her while she was a student at Catholic Community Middle School. She was not alone. The Catholic school teacher, armed with a gun, blatantly assaulted other girls and boys. It would take more than 20 years for him to be sent to prison, where he is now serving four life terms for child rape. And you believe that people knew? I know people knew. I witnessed it with my own eyes. I was in the eighth grade. Mersbacher kept me after school. He locked the door. He tripped me to the floor. He straddled me. He unbuttoned my shirt blouse. I was petrified. And then I heard the clicking of the door being unlocked. In walked Sister Eileen Weissman and stood over the both of us. Her comment to him was, oh, John, I told you never to lock the door. And she looked at me and said, you are never to stay after school again. And she was a nun. Well, <laughs> I thought this woman was going to save me when she came in the door, and, and she did absolutely nothing. Sister Eileen Wiseman was the principal of the school. Every teacher in that school knew what was going on, as well as Sister Eileen. There was no doubt. Gary Homburg was a former I mean, teacher there. This is the first time he has you know, ever spoken to the media. Down. I went to Sister Eileen and, uh, you know, sat down and, and told her what I'd seen, what I'd heard, uh, what I had witnessed with my own two eyes. It was as gross, as vile, as, as ugly as anything you can imagine. Homburg tells us he was given an ultimatum, shut up or leave the school. He left. WJZ also obtained court records, which state that Wiseman repeatedly witnessed abuse but did nothing to stop it. Decades later, following Merzbacher's conviction, the Archdiocese publicly stated that Wiseman should never again hold a position overseeing the safety of children. WJZ asked to speak with her, but instead received this statement. We have found no evidence to suggest that our religious community or any of our sisters had knowledge of Mr. Mersbacher's conduct at the time the abuse occurred. They would have to have been deaf, dumb, and blind not to be aware of what was going on. There is no doubt in my mind they knew and they looked the other way. Our investigation reveals Wiseman was not the only nun in a position of authority who was reportedly told about the sex abuse taking place in Catholic schools. Donna Vanderbosch, a student at Seton Kio, told a high-ranking nun that a priest was sexually abusing her. And I stopped in her office and I said, he's evil, please don't make me go. And um, she just smiled and said, go down there. And so that's like another day of agony I had to face. All our lives were tragically shattered, shaken. Our souls were, were ripped away from us, but we turned into the warriors that we are today because what went on is certainly not right. WJZ has learned that Sister Eileen Wiseman, who was assigned to Rome for several years during the Merzbacher trial, is now back in Baltimore living in a convent on a school campus.